What's going on everyone? I'm Ronnie Phillip with Kingly Acquisitions where we focus on acquiring value at apartment buildings. Today I'm here with my friend and mentor, Mr. James Kondesami with Achieve Investment Group. And we are doing due diligence on a 240 unit building here in San Antonio. So if you're watching this live, uh, comment L. If you're watching this on replay, comment R. And make sure you leave us questions and comments for um, anything on apartment investing. So James, um, how many units do you have now? Oh, we have almost like a thousand units right now. A thousand units and that's what in dollar? Uh, uh, almost $65 million in value. About $65 million in value. And you've done this in? Uh, three years. In under three years. So if you are looking to get into real estate investing, specifically multifamily, pay attention to this video, watch the entire video because we're about to show you what the due diligence process is on apartment building. So um, we're gonna give you all a quick tour of what the property looks like on the outside. This is 240 units here in San Antonio, Texas. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna do interiors as well. And then y'all can ask questions live as well on the due diligence process and we'll be able to answer them. So let me turn around the camera. So this is 240 units here in San Antonio, Texas. It's a garden style apartment building. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see. Pretty cool. So James, let's uh, walk through like the process of, you know, the due diligence on an apartment building. Yeah, I mean, uh, in general, we bring our team here and we look for a lot of things here because this is where you're going to match the numbers that you have in spreadsheet to the reality, right? So you can put anything in your spreadsheet, but we come here today uh, as part of the due diligence process to look at the whether the numbers make sense or not, whether what we thought in terms of rehab and in terms of a condition and in terms of the rents that we're supposed to look at the paper. Is that real or not, right? So we do two things. One is um something called lease file audit which mm -hmm. means we look at the leases that's basically the contract between the tenants and the um, and the management at the same time we match that lease to the rent roll that was given to us by the brokers or by the owners right so because lease is your income so you want to make sure that uh, you are getting that income as per the contract right and so we come here and do uh, lease file audit at the same time we also do exterior unit inspection to make sure we can see how much we're going to save, not save, we're going to be, spending. how much we're going to be spending in terms of the exterior rehab. And we're going to also look at the interiors and to see how much we're going to spend uh, on the interiors, right? So these are the two big things we do. Apart from that, we also have our own roofers to go up and see the roof. Uh, the roof is here to be claimed like new roof, two years old. So we need to verify that. Uh, we need to make sure that we verify all the plumbing is in good shape. Like, you know, we put a camera into all the sewer lines, all the breakouts, uh, all the um, plumbing lines and make sure that it's all in good conditions, right? Because mm -hmm. that can be a big, uh, you know, uh, what you call big expense if you do not know now and if you didn't budget it before you close. And the other thing we do is we also look at the asphalt, uh, you know, all the potholes and we look at the foundation of the um, of the buildings as well right because these are the big things that will break your deal if you do not don't don't do it right so we make sure we check all that and we put uh, all the experts uh, to work and you know we have teams that walk into each unit to go through uh, the interiors of the unit so we can go and look at some units to see what are yeah. the things we can be doing yes um, so we're going to show you all uh, a classic unit right not the yeah, renovated one right classic units yes. and then uh what are the things you look for most when it comes to the due diligence process? Like what is really important? The important parts are, I mean, on the interiors or the exteriors? Uh, I mean, or, anything. Uh, just make sure that you don't find anything big that is going to break your numbers, right? So if you have a budget X, like you say, if you have $1 million budget, you have to make sure you're still within that plus minus 10%, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to go plus minus 50%. I mean, minus 50% is fine, but if you go yeah. plus 50%, it's going to break your numbers, right? So you have to adjust your numbers before you close. So it's that's very important because um, end of the day is all about numbers, but this is where we do the reality check. So plumbing, roofing, foundation is very key. At the same time, you want to look at how much is the interiors that you have to do and how bad is the tenant. And this is the only time that you're able to go into each 
each units this is the only time you can get into each units i mean you can do it after closing but it's going to be very tricky and very difficult because you have to give notices and it's mm-hmm. not hard it's not easy to walk into each units and you don't have the team so due diligence day is the one of the most important days of buying an asset like multifamily because uh, it is the most important i would say yeah and uh, what do you look for whenever it comes to the interior side and how much you usually uh, budget for that the interiors we want to make sure that the uh, you know the numbers the the units that supposed to be occupied is occupied the units is vacant is vacant is there any units are being used by employees is there any units that's uh, used by maintenance is there any units which is uh, you know in the rent roll they said people are paying for it and, but there's nobody living there right at the same mm-hmm. time you want to look at the conditions of the unit and make sure that um the interiors are in good shape and you you know if it's not in good shape you want to take a budget for it and then put that into your back into your spreadsheet so so we do that and we look at the appliances we look at the flooring uh, on uh, what kind of flooring do they have we look at the drywall conditions we look at the how much rehab they have done right so so there are things we look at so that we can take that back and put that back into our budget and see the interior unit rehab whether it still makes sense to do the deal or not yeah and so for this deal What's your estimate as far as rehab so far? So we estimated around 3.5k, 3 to 3.5k. So until now, from our due diligence that we just recently completed, we think we are still within the budget. Uh, in fact, a lot of units looks good, mm-hmm. uh, which is good news for us. But there are there are the issues that we found that you know we have to adjust a bit, uh, which which we need to go and make sure we plug plug that back into the numbers and make sure that it's still within the same overall budget, right? Because your mm-hmm. capital budget is going to be. part of your cash and cash so you need to make sure you don't break that budget so your cash and cash and return projections for your investors still is stay intact awesome and we're about to go uh tour and uh, interior unit so y'all can see what it is and then James can point out like what things he's planning on upgrading this property sure sure awesome. let's go yeah okay so we're about to turn around and show you um if you have any questions uh please comment them below And if you're watching this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give us some hearts. Uh want to make sure we can answer all your questions. Also, James and I are planning on doing an episode on the Ronnie Phillips show. He's launching a book. What is your book called? Uh the book is called uh Passive Investing in Commercial Real Estate: The Insider Secrets to Achieving Financial Independence. And we'll 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 drop in uh in the comments the link and all that and I'll drop the link to his uh Facebook group, but We're about to show y'all the inside. So I just want to make sure y'all know that James and I are filming for the Ronnie Phillips show and let us know like what you want to see cuz I'm thinking of coming to San Antonio and filming this. So if, if you want me to film it, uh comment yes. And I we can do kind of like a HD TV style video for that. So let me see. But this this apartment building is amazing. Let's see. Here we go. Absolutely incredible. It's a really big building, so I'm going to turn the camera around on James and he's going to show us the unit. Yep. Over here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think somebody asked how occupied is this uh, property? It's almost 93% occupied mm-hmm. now. It's just the same owner has been owning it for 24 years. So mm-hmm. it's hard to find property that people own it for 24 years. we are able to find it just because of our credibility and negotiation yeah. skills so so this is the interior units uh, if you guys can see you want to show them around yeah so this is the interior unit as you can see pretty nice if we can turn the lights on here this is like the kitchen as you can see So if you can see the kitchens are really not renovated up to the nowadays uh, rehabbed property standard. So a lot of it's white appliances, we need to change that to uh, black appliances. The cabinets are pretty old. I don't think so we will change the cabinets, but we might put a pool on it mm-hmm. and we might uh, paint it or we make it nicer. Okay. And right. Then- and uh, if you see, you know, we need, we can do a better job in terms of make ready for this property a much better color scheme, mm-hmm. color scheme two tone. Change that gold color lights to nickel. brush nickel, mm-hmm. and make, you know, make it a much nicer. Uh, we probably will change the carpet to vinyl. Yeah, it depends on the plan. And uh, this and is on the third floor, so we need to figure out whether we want to change to vinyl. And vinyl, you know, it's much more less turnovers. 
yeah but at the same time it might cause uh, you know sound issues with the second floor mm-hmm. but we like changing it across all the floors just because it's a uh, it, not many people cares about the sound yeah <laughs> even though there are few people who cares about the sound mm-hmm. uh it's part of the noise you know so you know it's much better for us to uh change it to vinyl in terms of turnover costs yeah cuz whenever you turn over a unit you probably have to replace the carpet every couple times you know yeah yeah exactly so so if you look at the toilets you know we need to resurface the countertops mm-hmm. uh, we have to uh do a much better job in terms of resurfacing the tubs yeah and uh, we will be you know we'll be fixing up this much nicer and looks like a really nice uh, property on the day yeah let me show you the room i mean pretty basic so planning on putting like a ceiling fan in here or... yeah we're going to put a ceiling fan with the light so that will mm-hmm. be modern and looks nice and uh, this is a nicer spacious uh, unit so it's just not upgraded right so mm-hmm. when an owner owns it for more than 24 years it's uh, it has a lot of upside in it and uh, it needs people like us to come and take care of it so it yeah. needs a lot of love and uh, that's where we are able to push up the NOI and increase mm-hmm. the inc- by increasing the rent and reducing the expense at the same time we are able to give much better community for people to live here so that's what we are proud of helping people living a better life yeah awesome and we'll we'll end the video outside yeah, this is this is one of the units here in this 240 unit value add apartment building here in San Antonio, Texas. Uh let me show you. We got a balcony as well. Yeah, nice little balcony. It's a nice balcony, but it needs yeah. to be repaired. Uh it has a separate water heater as well. Mm-hmm. So that's really good because uh water heater sometimes they have boilers and all that. I mean, we don't mind buying deals with boilers, but separate water heater makes much of the maintenance much much better. Mm. Right. And uh yeah, so this is This is the building uh we're doing due diligence on like came from Dallas all the way over here so um let's see what else If There's any questions or anything like that please comment them below um and would you if you would like to see more videos James is very very knowledgeable with multifamily real estate so yeah. we're going to create some videos together based on the comments below so that way we can teach you more about multifamily investing cuz why why did you pick multifamily out of all the different asset classes multifamily is is uh is one of the asset class that has changed drastically in the past 5 to 10 years just because of the millennials moving more into multifamily mm-hmm. and the baby boomers moving to multifamily so that has created a huge shift it's a black black swan effect mm-hmm. in terms of the uh rental chains all right so The cycle is no more like going up and down in multifamily. It's actually it has it was going like this up and down but it went higher and then now it's going up and down because mm. of that shift from the from the lower level of cycle to a higher level of cycles because of the millennial boom and the baby boomers boom, right? Everybody moving multifamily and and you get really good financing. It's a very simple model to understand and there are a lot of it and everybody needs a shelter. I mean and uh, i think we really like it because we are able to come in and do a lot of improvements in it and we are able to really show our skills in doing that and at the same time make money for our investors so so that's why we really like multifamily awesome man so james and i we're going to do the interview on the ronnie flop show we're going to go over his book uh if you have any questions for james he's bought 65 million dollars worth of properties in under 3 years so i mean that's pretty incredible that's not something that's a normal thing to do so if you have any questions for James please comment them below so i can put it on the show and if you would like a portfolio tour on the on the Ronnie Phillips show we'll make sure we film that as well so that way you can go into details on with all the numbers and stuff on the other properties he's done i mean it's absolutely incredible so Say your book one more time. Yeah, my book is going to be called uh, Passive Investing in Commercial Real Estate. It's specifically written for passive investor perspective, right? So a lot of books out there is focusing on the 5% of real estate investor which is basically the sponsors and the syndicators. So I always want to take care of my passive investors and I wrote a book for the 95% of the real estate investors to look at how do you choose your passive investment, right? How, how do you look for uh when you look at a sponsor right what kind of market do you want to look for and what kind of uh, deals that you want to go in right what kind of capital source that you want to put in so basically a book from a passive investor perspective and 
If you guys want to connect with me, I'm available at James at Achieve Investment Group, uh, Achieve as well as achieving a goal. James at Achieve Investment Group, and you can visit my website, AchieveInvestmentGroup.com. Tons of free resources there, which you can't even get on a paid program. It's a lot of free, and I usually do a lot of webinars. You can come and sign up on my website to get notification of my webinars. It's all free. Come and see it. It's it's going to be uh, a lot of value. You're going to get a lot of value out of it. I mean, it's incredible. Every time I come down to San Antonio, I learn so much from James. And uh, make sure you all follow him. If y'all don't, uh, if y'all haven't followed him yet, make sure you send him a friend request and follow him on Facebook. He has tons of value. And tune in to the Ronnie Phillips show uh, coming soon. Uh, we're going to film it. It's going to be great. And that's pretty much it for this video. If you found this video valuable, please share it. And I encourage you to ask us questions because we'll continue to uh, answer them. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Once again, I'm Ronnie Phillip with Kingly Acquisitions. And this is James Kandesami with Achieve Investment Group. If you have any questions, please let us know. And have a great day. Take care.